Welcome to Let's Play Torchlight Part 7, where I explore the Molten Prison. After some quality fishing time, of course. For hours I could feel the heat building. The rock beneath my feet grew warm, and sulfur burned in my nostrils. As I squeezed through the crack in the rock, I expected to see lava, but still, I was unprepared. The glow of bubbling rock blinded my cavern-adjusted eyes, and when my vision cleared, I saw what I at first took to be a fortress. I now know it to be a prison, set upon pillars of rock and a molten sea. Who could build such a thing? What could require such extreme incarceration? I am grateful that both prisoners and wardens have long since turned to dust. The Molten Prison is home to bunches and bunches of goblins. Some goblins like to explode in front of you, kamikaze style. Others just rush you with the sword. There's also goblin hounds. There are also some burrower creatures that have an annoying electrical habit. Some goblins resurrect other goblins and cast spells, and the worst of them tend to shoot exploding arrows. Oh, and there's also trolls. Yeah. Much of this dungeon involves me just running around killing a bunch of these monsters as per usual, so I decided to skip a lot of it, and instead of talking about how I went from the left direction to the right direction to kill monster A and B, how maybe I should talk about some of the issues Torchlight has. Let's get the elephant out of the room right away. This game is rather repetitive. It may have fun features, and is generally great to play moment to moment, but ultimately you're doing the same thing over and over again for hours. I don't think this is just a problem with Torchlight. It is kind of endemic to all Diablo-style point-and-click adventure dungeon crawls genre things. Whatever! Point being, this tried-and-true formula is a little tired, and Torchlight 2 shows just how repetitive things can get. Ultimately though, this is an okay thing. It's okay that you're just killing monsters left and right over and over again, because it's just a very nice, relaxing experience ultimately. And even on the hardest difficulty, this game manages to be relaxing enough that it's worth killing some time with. That being said, there are some minor issues I have as well. The first issue I have is that there's no way to adjust your key bindings, so having to reach from the 6 to 0 keys on the keyboard is rather frustrating when you want to have a character who's focused on more than just a few actions. The skill system in this game is fairly rudimentary. It doesn't really have any special flair, and what I mean by that is that there is a lot of overlap between the abilities you get between the classes you pick. And a lot of the abilities are very generic, like get extra experience, or decrease the time it takes for your pet to travel from town and back. Torchlight has very passive skills more often than not, and your active abilities are somewhat limited. There's still enough flavor here to make an interesting experience, but compared to some similar games, this is a little lackluster. Another issue is kind of difficulty scaling. None of the enemies get smarter or more necessarily difficult. They just deal more damage and have more health. It's better than nothing, but at the same time it's kind of disappointing to see that the game doesn't amp up the challenge in a more decisive manner. Don't get me wrong, I think Torchlight is a good game. I just don't think it does everything perfectly. 
Anyways, after two hours of dungeon crawling, we finally arrive at the boss chamber of this set. Why do you struggle against Ordrock's will? No matter. The Overseer could not pass this realm, and you will fare no better against the Goblin Hordes. This guy is a fairly challenging boss. Not necessarily because he himself is any difficult, it's more because of the swarms of goblins that assist him. Not only that, the boss has several healers dedicated to making sure that he stays alive, and they have to go down first. So overall, this is a pretty damn long fight, just trying to kill everything in sight. You can kind of lure the goblins into the flame pits, it will damage them as well as you. So that is a little bit of a nice crowd control mechanism, but overall, most of this comes down to just shooting, killing, shooting, killing, shooting, killing. I don't want to cut out any part of this fight, but at the same time, I don't want to show all the footage it took for me to kill this damn guy. So how about a little bit of a fast forward segment? to the fortress. Are you feeling the effects of the Ember Blight? Don't worry, we're close to finding your cure. I hope you will continue to help me afterwards. Whatever is causing this corruption is too powerful for me to face on my own. Clear a path to the Ember Forge, and I will meet you there. You have gained a task. I'm Trinon, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Torchlight.